A new school year is beginning at Stanford with new rules around protesting on campus. The university's new president is rolling out these updated policies after Stanford's pro-Palestinian protests made national headlines. ABC 7 News reporter Lauren Martinez looks at the changes and the reaction. This week, Stanford University is welcoming students back to campus. With the start of the school year comes new and clear rules on speech and events. Last spring, pro-Palestinian encampments went up sporadically amid the Israel-Hamas war. The contentious time led to student arrests, barricades and graffiti on several buildings. On Tuesday, Stanford released what are called the Freedom of Expression Policies. Unauthorized tents will be prohibited. Students concealing their face may be asked to identify themselves by a university official. In a video, the provost explains other disruption policies. A provocative poster may be okay in some places around campus, but not placed on the personal residence door of an individual targeted by that speech. White Plaza has long served as a place for student gatherings. This is where we saw the encampments set up. Stanford's new president is vowing to enforce the no camping policy, which was already in place last term. This is the problem with how colleges and universities have approached the challenges of policing free expression to the extent they're allowed to, is that it's inconsistently enforced. So what you get are double standards. Nico Perino is with the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. I think colleges and universities have learned their lessons from the past year and are better prepared with their policies and their practices to avoid being caught up in the maelstrom. At the end of May, Stanford's Faculty Senate formally adopted an institutional neutrality statement, making Stanford the third university behind Harvard and Syracuse at the time to remain neutral on social and political issues. It gets administrators out of a lot of tricky problems, particularly surrounding an election year. They say, hey, our hands are tied. We have this institutional policy. We're not commenting. You students, faculty, you have the debate out. In Palo Alto, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.